We have learned that not just one, but two Lobo football players were arrested this weekend. Yeah, we told you how the team's defensive back alerted coach Bob Davey about his arrest the very next day it happened. But this other player didn't say a word. In fact, the coach didn't know until News 13's Alex Tomlin called to get his reaction. Are you ticked off? Oh, yeah. Two days in a row, two different UNM football players. These things kind of come in clusters. This one, David Vega, was an all-state quarterback at Goddard High School in Roswell before leading a powerhouse JUCO team at New Mexico Military Institute for two years. He walked on to the UAM team earlier this year, and it wasn't long before he got into trouble at training camp in Riodoso this summer. Coach Davey says he suspended Vega, but wouldn't say why. I'll let people try to guess what that was. In fact, Vega had just earned his way back onto the team last week. If it wouldn't have been because of his former actions and the fact that I don't trust him very much right now uh, and the fact that he didn't come see me, I don't know that I would have um, uh, suspended him immediately based on the facts that he told me. Davey isn't saying what Vega told him, but a criminal complaint says cops went to Vega's home off West Central Sunday looking for stolen property. They found it and four underage people drinking inside. Cops say Vega, who's 20, wouldn't give his name, so they arrested him for possessing alcohol and concealing his identity. When Davey heard about my call this afternoon, he confronted Vega. The moment I heard it, he was gone. His, his pads were pulled and he was cleared out. When you calm down a little bit, you see that these are young guys. He knew if he did come to me what the result was going to be. So he was hoping that it could be cleared before it ever got to me, uh, which was a poor decision. Davey says Vega gave him a strong argument for why he wasn't guilty, but it's too late for the coach. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. He's going to have to get this thing proved on his own. Alex Tomlin, KRQE News 13. Now, we should say no one in Vegas' home was charged with having the stolen stuff. We asked Albuquerque police about that investigation, but they never got back to us.